Hey, how you doing guys? Zeta here. So today I really wanted to talk about Godfall. Number one of the things because there were few questions answered regarding what is exactly the game. Also, you're seeing in the background the brand new looped footage gameplay. I do apologize about the quality because it was taken from the Twitter and also it's on the PlayStationLifestyle.net. I will leave down links below in the description. So we do not have an official 1080 uh, P quality or even 4K or whatever, right? But trust me, it looks far, 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 far better than you are actually seeing in front of you. We already actually have a better idea as well. What does this game strive to do? There were questions answered already. I, I think I'm going to get into them right now. So this was one of the questions that PlayStation Lifestyle asked one of the developers by the name of Keith Lee. He's, by the way, the creative director of the God, uh, Godfall. So yes, uh, just as well, with the teaser trailer for Godfall, I keep wanting to say God of War, <laughs> my apologies, Godfall, we're looking at something pre-rendering or is it an in, 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 uh, engine? And uh, Keith Lee answers, this was a rendered real-time in engine. Those are playable characters, lootable weapons and actual in-game environments. Very nice. No, this not, that's not necessarily a result of you saying that this is the exact same thing is going to be represented while playing the game. But, to be honest with you, I really do expect that because, well, PlayStation 5 is on par with the Xbox One... Uh, what the hell? Xbox Series X. My apologies about the name, it's kind of confusing still to me. But yes, it's on par with that, maybe if not, maybe uh, weaker, or if not, could be even, um, you know, more powerful. Now, uh, the other thing as well, uh, the other question, uh, what were some of the inspirations behind Godfall's looters slasher gameplay? On paper, it seems like a mix of Diablo, Borderlands, Destiny, Darksiders, and perhaps a few out of thrown in mix for the good measure. And Keith Lee answers, Brandon Sanders ongoing The Stormlight Ar Archive series, Joe Abercrombie, The First Law Trilogy, and Isaac Isamov uh, Foundation series sets the tone and texture of, a, of our fantasy world. The long-running Monster Hunter series with their diverse uh, weapons and uh, classes, playstyles ranging uh, from fast combo uh, to more uh, deliberate play has always uh, drawn us together as a team. By the way, from the gameplay uh, style, it kind of represents and shows me a little bit more of a Dark Souls. Definitely not Sekiro, uh, because this seems like more of a Dark Souls type and I love that. So the other question came in and from the trailer it looks like there are three protagonists. Can you tell us anything about our gallant heroes? Are they trying to start an apocalypse, prevent it or just benefit of it by getting sweet sweet loot? And Keith Lee answers the trailer, says the context at the beginning of the game. When you're about to select your initial playable character. As an avatar, you play as one of the last remnants of the Exiled Knight's Order, intent on stopping the apocalypse and preserving the last vestige of their world. You will be able to play all three of the heroes you see by acquiring and donning their armor sets, known as the uh, Valor Plates. Uh, besides these three, you will uncover and equip additional ancient Valor Plates lost in time in your journey, each with their own characteristics and historical uh, lineage. Uh, the other question comes in, can you tell us anything about more of the arcane fantasy setting in the Godfall and that multi-headed creature coming down from the storm about the uh, obelisk? And what was that obelisk, by the way? Keevely answers, Godfall is a brand new IP set in a bright high fantasy universe filled with the heroic knights, arcane magic and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the realms of the earth, water, air, fire and spirits. In the trailer, the player is gazing up from the earth realm, uh, realm wow, great English, <laughs> towards the water realm, which is a swirling maelstrom, ocean sky above. Now, the obelisk uh, is known as the Skybreaker Monolith, which you will learn more about the start of the game as well. Just the other question as well comes in, Godfall focuses largely on melee combat. Are there any options for builds and the involved range attacks, or is it just all up close and personal? All players, uh, he answers, key, uh, key answers. All players uh, have range attacks in their disposal, but limited with the cooldowns or charges. God, Godfall focuses about uh, tightening up the combat si circle for the melee combat. Players will always have two primary we melee weapons to switch between the during a mission, none of which are exclusively long-ranging design. 
The other question, if you mentioned wanting to loot to feel like it matters on the overall character builds, can you give us an example of how some of that loot will work? What kind of uh, things will gear do that can change your playstyle? Play and the uh, key answers, Godfall offers a flexible classes for players to easily swap roles in the middle of the combat or in a mission. We have a wide spectrum of weapon classes, ranging from small and nimble to heavy and weapon powerful. Players collect powerful ancient armor sets called Valor Plates, which contain uh, myriad slots for players to insert powerful augments and influence your playstyle. For example, you might add an augment into your Valor Plate that heals you and your allies whenever you hit an enemy's weak point for the survivability. Or you might insert a different augment that su summons deadly magical missiles that targets nearby enemies for a soft AoE damage whenever you hit a weak point. The other question comes in and asks, uh, Godfall can be played in up to 3 player co-op. Will the player count be reflected within the gameplay or are there unique things you can do while playing with other people that you couldn't do solo? And Keith answers, Godfall is designed from the ground up for co-op and we, uh, we ensured that you can play with friends and mixed levels. In addition, being able to hot join without uh, needing to queue up and, and wait. We want to make sure that the content is accessible to all the players, solo or co-op, while taking a different approach to ensure players of mixed levels can have fun together and contribute in more balanced ways. So the next question comes in, what unique benefits are you getting by developing Godfall on next generation hardware? Like, uh, why make it on PlayStation 5 exclusive rather than a cross-gen release with the PlayStation 4? And Keith answers, the exceptionally powerful SSD on the PlayStation 5 offers a new level of detail for each of the individual object, as well as seamless loading of our expansive world. Our combat is uh, kinesthetic in nature, so this new controller's adaptive trigger and a haptic feedback will make a moment-to-moment -moment combat feel exhilarating and visceral. And uh, uh, next question, are you working with Sony specifically to ensure that Godfall is a highlight of the PlayStation 5 launch window? What supports have they offered in development of the game? And Keith answers, we're excited to own and honored to be selected by, uh, by Sony to be a PlayStation 5 launch title. We plan to be alongside PlayStation every step of the way next year. And the next question comes in. Is Godfall something you plan to support long term with the updates and DLC post launch? And Keith answers, we haven't planned our post launch plans at the moment as we're still in development. We have more to say later next year. And uh, next question, well, I should say even last question. The teaser seems deliberately short and I teasery. Okay, uh, where can we, when can we expect to see more of the Godfall? And he answered, Keith answers, you can expect to see and hear more about Godfall, uh, Godfall next spring. Actually, that's much sooner than I was anticipating. I was expecting somewhere in summer, perhaps. But that's great, that's great news. I definitely want to see more of this gameplay. I really want to see how does this actually cope up to what I'm expecting. It seems like the way, if I do look back at this looped uh, gameplay, it seems like you can block attacks, but sometimes you can't as well, since uh, maybe uh, these enemies about to do something very heavy, obviously you can't just simply block it, but you will have to dodge it. It kind of has a bit of a Dark Souls vibe in it, doesn't it? At least personally for me. And uh, I presume as well, uh, well, actually thinking about it now, I don't really presume that, but yes, there's another friendly character I want to see, maybe it's another online co-op co cooperative player uh, right next to you, he, when he grabbed us, the enemy, the big enemy grabbed us and the other fella just uh, tried to hit the enemy, I don't know, kind of failed it seems like, but yes, visually it looks very very stunning, unfortunately I can't really represent that uh, for you guys on YouTube uh, due to that, you know, it's been compressed and as well. Uh, you can't really put it on the YouTube as easily and the quality will be substantially, uh, you know, it will not be there as you probably perhaps expect it to be. Okay, well, uh, that was quite interesting. I'm very much looking forward to this being already announced since you can pretty much change to almost absolutely anything you want. All the armor is all customizable and as a, such as a loot, basically you kill more enemies, more loot that you will gather and you can equip it for your own. And so that's how you become stronger. It has a little bit of similarities to Destiny, Division and as such, obviously, well, they did have their own aspects, but unfortunately, 
in their own ways they kind of failed to go at about uh, above the step for example the division was was hot at the day one and, and day one, one first week wow great English but yeah it kind of lost the steam didn't it but then destiny is such a poor start they had for so many years already but finally it's getting it's gathering so much more reputation and um, you know praiseworthiness of how it, this game ended up being but yes, I personally think first impressions is really is everything. And I really hope that this game, Godfall, will be able to deliver just that. And if it has a very strong first impressions and it keep and it can keep on hold of things and uh, entertainment value as well, and uh, how good the game is, I think we might have a, a brilliant, simply like a brilliant, brilliant game. And I mean, that would be a big thing, wouldn't it? Alright, well then, I think I'm done for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very much looking for more forward to Godfall than I was anticipating. And um, Alright, well, like and subscribe and see you guys all. And again, have a good one.